Hey guys, I'm Saeed and welcome to my review of Ubuntu 16.04 LTS. So let's start about this computer. This is Ubuntu 16.04 LTS. Okay. For Ubuntu 16.04, I think the exciting news is Ubuntu 16 LTS will be supported for 5 years for Ubuntu Desktop, Ubuntu Server, Ubuntu Core, Ubuntu Keyline. And all other favors will be supported for three years isn't it exciting this version is based on long-term supported lts release series 4.4 what means it? you'll find kernel version 4.4 so let me check control alter t you can check it by u name a so here it is linux 4.4 generic Ubuntu SMP. I do Ubuntu Ubuntu 16.4 LTS. Now, okay. Another change is we can remove the launcher. This launcher by default uh, it should be shouldn't be high. Uh, behavior. Oops. By default you, you will find it off, but you can on it. Auto hide launcher. So you can you can remove that launcher position from left to bottom by using this code. I'll give you in my video description. Control C open terminal B control alter T control shift V for this and press enter. So that's it. look like just like windows system you can also remove the launcher position from bottom to left by using this code control shift just left oops so that's it Another change I noticed is Ubuntu Software Center. You see, it's not Ubuntu Software Center, Ubuntu Software, and uh, you can see it's not like the old Software Center. It's very much faster and very comfortable. You see, so fast. Yeah, I can get all software by categories audio development tool education games graphics internet office and install software uh, you can get here this is my install software if i want to remove any of them i can click it and for any update news i can get notification from here okay that's it By default, the online search are turned off, but you can turn on it from here. Settings, system settings, security and privacy, search, online search results are turned off. By default, we turn on and search go. Here, it's turned off on. So, that's it.
that's it let's see what do we have here filter results I can see the filter result application that's accessibility accessories customization dash plugins developer nothing education nothing games graphics internet couple simple browser here but this is not by default installed I install it using terminal you can also install it media I also install VLC media player after installing 16 office office and science and education system there are lots of software here I install it later okay that's it by default you will have python version 3 let me check control alt rt for open terminal and type python version it is 2.7 it's mean python version 3 here uh, you also get to mozilla firefox version 46 let me check Six point zero point one. Library office. Let me check library office. Yeah, from here. Uh, library office writer. About library office. Library office version is five point one point two point two. This is the latest version. Check what this version is. Uh, this version will be seven point zero, and uh, my SQL version or my SQL. My SQL version is called five point seven. But by default, you will not find this software. You have to install it. Let me check the what requirements is. Go to Ubuntu.com. Downloads. Go to desktop. It is uh, recommended system requirements. It's requirement, but don't you have to must have to have this uh, this is um, 2 gigahertz dual core processor 2 gb memory system what means ram 2 gb ram 25 gb hard drive space enter a dvd drive or usb port for installing media so that's it if you want for more if you want to know more about uh, 16 can also uh, you can find it my my video description youtube video description or you can also go to ubuntu.com ubuntu.com then downloads ubuntu 16 and ubuntu release not 16 release not. you will have everything i said here and everything i not said here also so that's it for today thank you guys for watching my video